you're welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and <coughs> in this section we are going to discuss the applications of determinants and matrices and uh, the application of determinants and matrices is to find or is to solve it, it is used for solving the system of linear equations in two or three variables so that is the application so we can say that It is used to solve the system of linear equations in two or three variables. So that is the application of determinants and matrices. So Now these linear equations can be in two variables or three variables. <coughs> and they are also used to check the consistency consistency of linear equations and let's see what is the consistency of linear equations so this is the first application and second is to check the consistency consistency means whether the given pair or set of linear equations has a solution or not so to check the consistency of system of linear equations these are the two applications and before we go ahead we have already discussed these two terms that is the consistent set of equations and the inconsistent set of equations so the consistent set of linear equations are when they have solutions so we can say that a system of linear equations is said to be consistent if their solution exists now this solution can be one or more than one so system of equations is said to be consistent if its solution exists. Now this solution can be one or more. So if the given system of equations has a solution, then they are said to be consistent. And if they do not have a solution, then we say that these are inconsistent set of linear equations. So if the solution does not exist, that means the given set of equations are inconsistent. The system of equations are consistent when they have solution and it's inconsistent when they do not have the solution. Now let's see how do we find out the solution of system of linear equations and that is by using the inverse of a matrix. For that, let's say uh, we consider the system of equations. Let's say we have three pairs, uh, three sets of equations, a x1 plus b1 y plus c1 z. That is equal to d1. And next is a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z. That is equal to d2. And next is a3 x plus b3y plus c3z that is equal to d3 <coughs> okay now so these are the these may be the three sets of linear equations in three variables x y and z now 
we will convert them into the matrices and the first matrix we will that will be a and a will have the elements a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 so we have converted this into the matrix form and there will be x matrix in which we will put in the three variables that we will have to find x y and z and b will have the constants that is d1 d2 and d3 so this is how we convert them in the matrix form and these matrices should be such that the the product of two should be equal to the third one so we will write them as a x is equal to b now a into x is feasible because its order is three and this is three by one so column of this is equal to the rows of this so a x is equal to b now we have to write we we have written the system of equations in the form a x is equal to b now <coughs> there will be two cases because we have to find it using the inverse of a matrix so either the a is let's say non-singular matrix so this is case one so if a is not singular that means the determinant of a is not equal to zero now <coughs> We are going to pre-multiply this side that is a x is equal to b with a inverse so let's multiply this with a inverse so a inverse into a x is equal to a inverse b now let's group this a inverse into a into x is equal to a inverse b now a inverse into a is i this is i x that is equal to a inverse into b we know that the inverse of something multiplied with the same matrix is an identity matrix as a is a non-singular matrix okay now so identity matrix into x will give us x so x is equal to a inverse b and that is how we find out the three variables because x has three variables x y and z now this matrix equation gives uh, provides us the unique solution for the given system of uh, equations because if a inverse exists it is unique and this method of solving system of equations is called matrix method so this is we call it as the matrix method of solving the system of equations okay now <clears throat> and in this case this matrix equation provides the unique solution we will get the unique solution because if a inverse exists it is unique so we will get a unique solution in this case that is we will have only one value of x y and z now the second case could be when a is either the a is non-singular when that is that a is not equal to zero or either the a is singular a is singular means that determinant of a is equal to zero okay in this case if we will calculate we will further calculate a joint of a into b so this is our next step in this so we will have to calculate a joint of a into b now if a joint of a into b is not a null matrix suppose this is the case one if it's a not a null matrix that means the solution does not exist in this case the given pair of equations or the given set of equations will not have any solution so the solution does not exist in this case <coughs> and we call the system of equations as inconsistent
Okay, now the second case could be here that the adjoint of A into B is equal to a null matrix. So if it's a null matrix, then either the system of equations could be consistent. So here we will have two options. Either the system of equations will be consistent and consistent means in this case we will have infinitely many solutions. Okay, and if it's or, so either it's consistent or either it's inconsistent in this case. So it's consistent or inconsistent. So if a joint of A into B is a null matrix, then the system of equations could be consistent and in that case we will have infinitely many solutions or it could be inconsistent and in this case we will have we know that inconsistent has no solution so for singular matrix we will have to calculate a joint a into b and a joint a into b is non is a, is a non zero matrix then if system of equations are inconsistent and if it's a null matrix then it could be either consistent or inconsistent if it's consistent then it could have infinitely many solutions and it's inconsistent then it will have no solution Okay, this is how we find the solve the system of linear equations using the matrix method. And let's move on to exercise 4.5 where we will go ahead and solve more of uh, these questions. So do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.